The South Texas State Fair will open its door for the 70th time tomorrow night. While families are thinking about the food and the rides, workers are focusing on safety. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel visited the fairgrounds at Ford Park to get a firsthand look at the effort to ensure everyone who gets on a ride can walk away to enjoy the next attraction. Should be putting up a set right now here in the there's their truck. That's them they're putting in right there. Andy Foote is in charge of safety at the fairgrounds. He oversees everything, even the way bleachers are set up. But I still have to check them, you know, and, it, and make sure there's no loose, you know, uh, nuts, bolts, or anything like that. Nothing escapes his attention. Can't move them. No matter how small. We have to have disaster plans, evacuation plans or large. They're just similar to your inspection for your automobile. They have to have inspections. Obviously, they go at high speeds and have to be sturdily built. A solid plan to help in case anything goes wrong. Things are going to happen. People will trip on nothing. We do ensure we have a large amount of police here and fire department, plus personnel, security, and our ambulance system. Taking time to inspect nuts, bolts, screws to keep families safe. When I first started with the fair uh, years ago, we used to see 8, 10, 12 accidents a day. Now we're lucky if we see one or two. Attention to detail, preparation, hard work. So the only thing families have to worry about is having fun when the gates open. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. Foote says one way to keep your children safe is to create a safety plan. He suggests putting a band around your child's arm with your phone number on it. The gates at the South Texas State Fair open tomorrow at 6. Anyone attending the opening ceremony gets in free.